guys, up, it's Jake here, and we have our seventh Visual Basic tutorial. Today we're going to be doing case structure, which is basically uh, just shortening if-then statements just in case you're writing the same thing over and over again. So we have our form set up here. We have a text box, calculate button, and a answer. This is text code, this is button go, and this is label final. Um, in our label final, the visible property is set to false, so that when the form loads, there is no random answer sitting there. So we're going to go ahead and double click the calculate button, and first thing we want to do is set our dim statements. So we're going to create a string code as string for that text. Um, we're going to do dim des final as string, or, not as string, sorry, as decimal. And we hit enter twice. Now we need to set the string code um, variable equal to our text. Alrighty, go ahead and hit enter twice. And here's where we begin our select case. The select case is as simple as that. You write select case for string code and just hit enter. And as you can see, it puts the end select in here just as an end if would for an if statement. So go ahead and in the middle, you can do case, and then since it's text, we need to do uh, the quotes so that Visual Basic recognizes it as text. So case A, then you just hit enter, and we're gonna do des final equals ten. Whoa, ten thousand. And now that's all you need to do basically. Um, is it's kind of like an if statement, but the good part about a select case is you could just do this. Instead of writing another statement, you just do case B and then des final equals 15,000 and then you just write another one. You just keep going. Alright, so des final equals 20,000. And that's all you gotta do. Um, so now we have it so that no matter what like of these three letters, whichever one they type in, Visual Basic will um, take in this information. So if it's A, it equals 10, B equals 15, and C equals 20,000. So I'm going to go ahead and go down. And the first thing we need to do is set our label final dot visible property to true so that we can see it. And we need to set it as a value. So label final equals des final dot to string and we forgot the dot text over here so we gotta add that in real quick and that should be it guys um that's all it is it's really if you're just writing a bunch of if statements that are almost always the same so if you wrote an if for this it'd be uh if string code equals a then des final equals this and then you would have to write another one if string code b equals or if string code b equals if string code equals b then dust final equals this so it's just it's tedious to write if statements if you're just writing the same thing for the same structure all right so let's go ahead and run this i'll show you guys and we're gonna do a calculate b calculate and c calculate so everything's working pretty good and uh that's gonna be it for today guys it was pretty simple um, stay tuned. Next time we are going to be doing um, probably some loops. So we got some do while loops, uh, do until loops, uh, whatever, you know, just a bunch of loops. Uh, and that's where it just keeps going until you don't want it to. Alright, so that's going to be it for today, guys. I will see you next time, and thanks for watching.